Hello guys and welcome to your second C++ tutorial. In today's tutorial I'll just be talking about variables in C++. So to get started, first of all, uh, you still have the file we created from our first tutorial, which was the hello world file, so we'll be using that. So if you haven't opened it, just pause the video and go ahead and open that. Once you have done so, uh, we'll just go ahead and start talking about today's tutorial. So variables in C++ first of all how do we declare variables well first we have a couple of types of variables one variable is an int which is an integer another one is a double which is basically if we want it's basically a real number basically let's say 2.2 .2 something that's a double we also have a float which is kind of like a double we have a string and also we have a car we also have some we also have booleans which are true and false but we'll talk about those later so first let's talk about how we declare a variable in C++ so let's declare an integer variable and let's go uh, let's go ahead and type int and let's call it uh, number one and we have to put a semicolon so now by typing that we have declared the variable called number one and we can also initialize that variable if you, if you would like to such as put an initial value zero so that variable is set to zero and if nothing if 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 later on the code we basically do not change it or do anything to it it will stay at zero so now that number one equals zero let's try and output the number one on the screen just to see if it actually works and it should, and it should work fine but let's just test it anyway and to do that all we have to do is basically erase the hello world uh, string we had and just type the less than less than sign and then number one which is the variable we declared and initialized to be zero and if we build this I'm gonna go ahead and build it if we build this and actually go ahead and run this or debug it uh, we, sh we should actually see the number zero pop up since we said number one variable number one equal to zero so while we're waiting for this to build up um, if yours already compiled or build up you can just go ahead and run it and see if we actually display zero so it's almost done I don't know why it's so slow but I apologize for that so there we go it's successfully built let me just run it there we go so we see the console window and we see the number zero pop up so that worked so let's declare another variable, another integer, and let's call it number 2. And let's set this one equal to 2, to 2 or 3 or, or any number you like to. And let's declare another variable, this time let's call it sum. And set it equal, we don't have to set it equal to anything, but I'll just initialize and set it equal to 0. And now we will do this, we'll add we'll type sum equals number one plus number two and all this will do is basically perform the addition so you will add number one number two variable number one and variable number two variable number one is zero and variable number two is two and the sum is zero so you basically store zero plus two in the sum variable and let's basically print out sum so if you could guess and um, what the sum would be it's very easy the, the sum would just be 2 so you will basically add number 1 number 2 store it in sum and here you will print out sum so it should, if you build it and run it we should see number 2 pop up on the screen and still it's taking too long I apologize for that once again okay successfully built let's just run it 
so there we go we see number two so that did work well that was it for variables later on we'll be talking about a little bit more advanced uh, uh, variables we talk about arrays and so on uh, but that will be on coming up on our next tutorials so uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please subscribe to my channel please uh, that means a lot and uh, if you would like me to make a tutorial about anything please just let me know by commenting or by sending me an email uh, thank you once more and please watch all my other videos and uh, all my other tutorials are coming up soon thank you